Saturday of the third week of Advent. First reading. Reading from the book of Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will raise a virtuous branch for David, who will reign as true king and be wise, practicing honesty and integrity in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel dwell in confidence. And this is the name he will be called, the Lord our integrity. So then, the days are coming, it is the Lord who speaks, when people will no longer say, as the Lord lives who brought the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who led back and forth home the descendants of the house of Israel out of the land of the north and from all the countries to which he had dispersed them to live on their own soil. Responsorial Psalm In his days justice shall flourish, and peace until the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to the king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, and your poor in right judgment. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace until the moon fails. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace until the moon fails. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name, let his glory fill the earth. Amen, amen. In his days justice shall flourish and peace until the moon fails. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ruler of the house of Israel, who gave the law to Moses on Sinai, come and save us with outstretched arms. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of Matthew. This is how Jesus came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a man of honour and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she is conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place to fulfil the word spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. Gospel of the Lord.